What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. So today I'll be telling you guys the few I don't know how many but a list of the things I hate about my Infinity Q50. So we're gonna get right started. Uh, probably the biggest and number one for EQ owners and like 3.7, 3.5, like you know, G35, G37, Q50 owners. Uh, I would say my number one is gas, gas mileage, and how much this car is horrible and like just wasting gas. I'm gonna try to show you guys real quick. Um, I'm at 313 miles, you know, I'm driving to school real quick. Uh, but this is like an average, not, not like obviously, like it's not accurate. I'm trying to reset it so I can show you guys right now on the freeway. But usually, my freeway miles are about like 8, 19 miles per gallon, even less. Definitely not 23, obviously. And then my street miles, they're probably like, you know, almost like, I would say 13 to 14. I'll try to show you guys right now my freeway miles when they update. I forgot to update it, you know, because that was just an average of both street and highway miles per gallon. But yeah, man, it seems like... Like every, almost every week, week and a half, I'm pumping gas, you know. And sure, you can let it, I'm, I'm the type to like, you know, when I see my gas, like, probably like a quarter, like probably like in the last line right here, I'll probably fill it up because, you know, I, I don't want to run into situations where it's like, fuck, I don't have enough time to get in, now I'm like, I'm masked out, you know, like, I, I gotta go get some and I'm running late to something, you know. I do want to have time. I hardly had let it hit all the way to like E or MD to zero, whatever you call it, or let the light come out when, when it's low on gas. I hardly do that. So yeah, I guess you can, I can like stretch it out at most, like barely, I would say two weeks. Okay, I do drive a lot. I do daily drive a lot, you know, from school to back, uh, just driving around, going to work. Family, my girl, you know, going out, stuff like that. So obviously, it makes sense that you're wasting a lot of gas. But for a V6, for a 3.7, obviously, it's amazing. Like my first car I ever wanted was a truck. Yeah, Jolly Bee. I don't know if you guys ever tried Jolly Bee, but shh, I haven't. I'm trying. I'm trying to try it out. Let me know in the comments if you tried it. But once again, my first car I wanted a, a truck, a 05 Silverado Cat Eye, and I wanted a V8. But my parents are like, oh, your brother, he had a V6 truck and he was complaining about gas, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, this V6. And I'm like, bro, these prices, all this gas, is like, bro, I could have gotten a V8 and I'm paying the same thing, you know? And same gas mileage and all that. But it's whatever, it's whatever, you know? But yeah, that's number one. Number two, what I hate, well, not hate, super hate, but you know, dislike is this infotainment system. So once again, this is a 2015 Q50 Sport 3.7. And I don't know, uh, even up until like the 2018, 2019, I think the infotainment system is like doo-doo, you know? Like, um, you know, it's slow, out of date, obviously. But, you know, even the maps, you can see it's like a little like sloppy, you know, smooth at all. Doesn't have CarPlay like the newer Q50s. I think the I think they came out with CarPlay in like I want to say 2020 Q50 2019 something like that. Absolutely something like that. But they have CarPlay. I don't sadly, but it still has Bluetooth. I know a lot of other cars like I know the G37, some G37s like the older version. I don't think they have Bluetooth, but thank God for Bluetooth. And honestly, that's how you need this car. You know Bluetooth. Some pretty good speakers it has, if I remember correctly, 16 speakers in the whole car. You have whole whole sound system in the front, uh, on the doors and on the back. Uh, but yeah, that's another thing I dislike. You know, it's it is out of date, but for what you get, it's amazing. You get two screens, two cute ass screens, and also don't forget you can also make it a Tesla screen, which is one big old screen. Um, I'm, I was thinking of doing that. But it's like, ah, like I kind 
be like, oh yeah, you know, I don't even like use the screen that much. Well, dude, you just drive. What are you gonna need a whole iPad for? I got my phone. Like, yeah, yeah, you can play like YouTube, Netflix, all that. It's cool. I mean, you got your phone for that, you know. So I don't need to spend like all the money, the like, hundreds plus installing. Like that's another thing. The installation, you have to take out the whole center console, all these parts. I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm not. I don't know. I don't really want someone to like tear it down and change all this shit. Because I, I don't know. I have a fear that like someone's just. I just know something's gonna get messed up. Like if someone like tears it apart and tries to like, you know, do that screen. I just have a feeling that someone's gonna mess up and something's gonna mess up my. I don't know. Something's going to go wrong. That's my fear too. That's why I'm like, eh, not really down for it. Damn, yeah, something. It's a big old thing they crash it. Give me a second here, guys. But yeah, that's number two. You know, it's old technology, but with me, you'll survive. So definitely, if you guys are in the market for like a 2015, 2014, etc., don't let that be like a super like, ah, like shh, I'm not gonna get this. You still get Bluetooth, you still get all these like amazing features. Like, look at this, look at the, um, the cluster, right? That still looks pretty clean, you know? For today's day and age, 2023, like, hey, it'll survive. Like, I've seen, like, this, this could go up to peril with, like, you know, 2023, 2024. And it, it, it does for sure, especially this interior. Because Infinity has kept the Q50's interior the same for, like, the longest time. The only difference between these and the newer ones, is I, visibly, is, like, the steering wheel. They have a brand new steering wheel. It's skinnier. I like that. It's honestly pretty badass, but... I mean, phew, mine's pretty badass too, so, yeah, that's, um, thing number two, three, alright, so, this one, I, I feel like it would vary depending on the year, but I would say for 2014, 2015, Q50s, maybe even 2016, you will most likely have electrical issues, and by electrical issues, I can mean like a burn light bulb, burn headlight, burn tail light, maybe the cluster go out on you. Some something electrical I feel like is bound to happen once you hit like that hundred thousand light like mark like reaching to it. So when I first got the car there was an error. I I've done so much damn I'm just relax. So there was an error saying headlight system error. Please like uh, see your instruct like your user manual or the car's manual whatever and I was like damn so my left my driver's side headlight, my left headlight, completely out. No, actually, no, scratch that. The day, the daytime running lights would be on, like you see those cars with the the daylights, you know, you, you see them on. That would turn on, that'll be it. That full headlight where you get like the full, you know, the brightness, it would not turn on. And I was like, damn. So the previous owner had told me like, oh, uh, I had, it, it was just burned. I think you just need to check your fuses. Or it's probably just a bulb you can change. I was like, all right, piece of cake, right? So I checked the fuses, and none of the fuses were like messed up. All the fuses were good to go, running good. Number two, I checked the headlight. Uh, I'm used to older vehicles, like you know, older cars where they just like the headlight is just a little bulb you unscrew to replace the whole head to fix that little light that just went out you have to replace a whole headlight unit that whole headlight unit i think oem is like six to eight hundred something like that and like oh, you, oh, you burn. six to eight hundred and like use is going for like 300 plus and i was like wow wow and mind you i'm still in like when i first got to i was a senior in high school working my ass off part-time job right still am but still you know i don't got that bread like that to be just like oh i'm just casually drop like six six to eight hundred bucks after i fucking helped pay for this car and did all this other stuff to it like damn bro like really so i went on ebay used found like a used pretty decent used one and even these like don't i don't know be very careful when you're choosing on ebay because even the headlight i bought was still causing that error what I hate, I hate having my car having any like, head, like warnings, any errors, like any anything on the dash. Like I want my dash clean. You see that? So uh, when I bought the headlight on eBay, it was like three fifty. I think that was the cheapest I was able to get. 
And even then, uh, once I installed, it was a, it was such a pain to install. I had like, I did it myself with my girlfriend's dad. He helped me out. Shout out to him. But, um, dude, it took like it was probably like an hour and a half of work to, you know, unscrewing my, you know, taking out the whole bumper, taking out the all these pieces from the like the engine, like the plastic, you know, all went up. The only bad thing is my bumper clips are broken and like other shit from like all these screws are like you know they're random ass screws they're not even like OEM screws all this so it was like a pain to put it all back together and then once we put it on like we tested it out it turned on everything good right for eBay um, the warning light still did not go away and we're thinking like oh maybe it just needs like a couple like maybe even like a couple days for like the the unit to reset because obviously I need this car I'm working I'm going to school blah 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 so you can't just leave it and just like oh leave the bumper off and leave it in the back like in the backyard to like all oh, this test it out so we put everything back together bumper wise everything back and like a week went by and this thing did not go away the warning headlight system error I was so pissed bro I was like what and when you look at the headlight that, so that usually pops up, the headlight system error. I'll try to pop up an image right here. But usually that headlight system error pops up when either one of the LEDs, one of your light bulbs, or anything is like out. So your light is like not working. And so we were looking at the two headlights from my left and right. And my right one is OEM. Uh, both of them are OEM, but the right one is one I had since it's, you know, it's, it's been having it since it's, you know, been made, whatever. And it's still going. But, uh, the one on the left, is this, I'm still using the eBay way, and it, yeah, as you guys can see, it doesn't give any error or anything like that. And so, uh, what I noticed so far is the left one is like a little dimmer than the right it's not like the headlight but it's like the the daylight the daytime running lights that one is i think a little like one or two bulbs or leds are like out or so i don't, I don't know you can like you can tell the difference between them and i think that was what was causing the system error and i was like damn i mean so yes i did get a headlight now like i can see much better at night you know but what I for sure wanted is to get rid of that error. So well, there's like a little hack on YouTube. I was searching, I was researching, you know, people have always obviously had this problem before too, but no one, no one really told the answer other than this one video I found on YouTube. So this guy, I'll show you guys, I'll, I'll make a whole couple of the other video about it, but pretty much you get like a copper wire, you put it into the plug of your headlight, and then you run, you put it in the certain pins, and it, once you plug it in, again, it takes out the warning message. So that's exactly what I do. So my headlight is still kind of messed up, but it's like, you can't even tell. If you pay attention, then you tell it. From anyone's perspective, like even me, I forget that it's messed up sometimes. Like, it's the smallest different, but I hate how picky and how, like, sensitive the little sensor is. Because one little, one little thing can throw off the whole cluster, and I don't know, I'm... I don't know if it's OCD, I don't know, I'm just very picky about what I really like and what I, how I like, you know, want my car. I want a clean car, you know, I don't want like all some, like, you know, check engine light, check ABS, check all this whatever, you know, I, all these warnings. I, I want a clean car, you know, I want a daily driver, you know, something fun, something nice, I can appreciate it, take care of it, so, you know, that's exactly what I did. And so once I did that little trick, I was able to get rid of my all these errors in my cluster. You know, this car when I got it, it was it was beat up, man. It was dirty. So much thing was wrong. The tire, the, um, the tires were messed up. Alignment, everything. When the brakes, the discs were warped. So every time you would brake, your wheels would go like this, and your whole steering wheel would shake left to right so hard. You know, I've done a lot and with the help of my girlfriend's uh, my girlfriend's dad. You know. But yeah, um, those are the top three major issues. Everything else, you know, you have an amazing car, you got amazing, whatever year, honestly, 2014, all the way to the brand newest one, whatever Q50, 2023, or whatever year they're making, they have made. Definitely worth it, guys. 
definitely get a Q50, you know. Definitely one of the funnest cars I've ever driven in my life. Um, and not just being bi biased, but like, hey, this is a pretty fun car, man. Straight up. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna end the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.